hello friends in this video i will teach you that how you can apply drop shadow to object in adobe indesign so what i will do i will create a rectangle from here we'll select the rectangle tool and then we will create a rectangle and we can fill this rectangle from here you can see like this and uh, now if you want to remove the outline you can remove from here so now we will go to the object and effects and here you can see drop shadow so you can also use the keyboard shortcut key that is control alt m you can also use you can see effects will open and uh, this is just similar to the blending options that we can see in adobe photoshop so now how we can apply uh, these effects actually we are going to discuss about the drop shadow in this video so i will show you the drop shadow values the drop shadow and you can see um, these are the options of the drop shadow like blending position and this this options so you can change all of them if you want or any one of them if you want to change you can change you can just check this option preview so you can see how uh, your changes will appear so you can see the drop shadow has been appeared here so uh, the size and uh, you can see opacity just like transparency so you can see it's 75% so if you will make like 56% you can see it's changing transparency of the drop shadow and uh, distance if you want to change you can see distance is increasing you can change and angle you can see now it's 135 degree and uh, you can also change it to like this you can see anywhere you can change and when you change you can see the x offset and y offset values are also changing so you can control according to your requirements then position you can also change you can see position also changing and spread like now it's zero percent you can also increase the spread uh, of uh, this drop shadow and if you want to add some noise so you can also add the noise in the drop shadow and uh, you can click ok now if you want to change any time you can go to object effects and uh, drop shadow you can see you can uncheck if you want to remove and uh, if you want to change for example the color of drop shadow you want to change so you can change like this so this is the simple method you can apply drop shadow to the objects in adobe uh, indesign so i hope you have learned a lot in this video thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends